Hi again then guys, and welcome to another, of course, speed tune for Forza Horizon 4, this time for one of the Formula Drift cars that we have in the game. I'm not sure what players got these cars, if it was a VIP thing or what, but I know plenty of people do have them, and sometimes you might not be super into drifting, or maybe you just want to use it as a race car instead of just a drift car, because they do have a huge amount of power, they're already very heavily modified, so is drifting all they can do, or can you actually win races with them as well? So to start off, I'm using the Formula Drift Viper. And of course, I will cover some of the other drift cars as well, but this one's the obvious choice to start with because it's the most powerful of all of them. And if I recall correctly, I think this is actually the third most powerful car in the game, with over 1,700 horsepower, 2,444 newton meters of torque, which is pretty crazy. As far as the benchmark, well, it speaks for itself. Top speed isn't necessarily as high as you'd expect from a car with over 1,700 horses, but you've got to bear in mind, of course, it's not the most aerodynamic thing around anymore. It's got a lot of things, aerodynamically speaking, which detrimentally affect it. It's not designed for that, as I said. But 1.9 to 60, 3.9 to 100, 267, those are all three very good numbers, and this is one of those cars which definitely feels faster than that. It would be very interesting to know the 0 to 200 in comparison to many others because that kind of power really comes into play for top end acceleration. Now, as far as the gearbox, or actually just before the gearbox, as far as the tuning, I would strongly recommend all wheel drive. I always do, but especially when you're trying to put down that kind of power. As far as the rest, upgrade everything as high as it can go. So all of your racing parts, uh, I can't recall if this one can have racing tires, I think it already has them. So widen the tires, lightweight wheels, all that kind of stuff. Then for the gearbox, I'd recommend a final drive of 2.8, then for the individual gears 2.9, 2, 2 1.5, 1.18, 0.94 and 0.75. For the alignment with all-wheel drive, of course, you don't need any camber, you don't need any tow. I've got four degrees of caster, anti-roll on 15 and 9, springs on 62, 40, and the lowest ride height on the front and the back. It is higher on the front, so you could raise the back a little bit if you want to. As far as the dampers, we've got 5, 4, and 2. Aero, you want the downforce as low as possible for the best top speed. And as far as the diff, you could go for 100% on braking, but I've opted for 100% on acceleration, and it does have pretty sharp handling for a car with that kind of power, and a 75% center split. Now, if you find it to be maybe too twitchy, for instance, or too slippery, then drop that down to 70%. It'll make a big difference. Or, of course, to 60 or even 65 if you want to. Vice versa, if you want it to be even more nimble, then bump it up to 80. But, of course, you'll sacrifice a little bit of launch. But that's it for the tune. In case you were wondering, yes, it is on my storefront, so you can use my gamer tag to find it, or use the keywords below this video. But now, of course, what you want to see, as always, is how quick is it? Now, the funny thing about this car is that even though the steering rack has a great level of range, of course, for drifting, it's actually surprisingly heavy at high speed, which is one of the reasons why I said you might consider increasing the braking sensitivity on the diff up to, say, 100% as well. But of course, that's down to you to try. The acceleration is fantastic, the launch is really good. The top speed, as I said, it's not quite as high as you might expect, even, <laughs> but it is fast. It's more than fast enough for most circumstances, and the acceleration alone makes it worth your attention. As far as low speeds, well, that steering rack makes a big difference, it's very manoeuvrable, so if you do want to use this Viper for racing, there's definitely potential there. So if you use this tune, or if you grab it from my storefront, have fun with it either way. And of course, follow my storefront, and of course, follow the channel here for more tunes like this, and click here on screen to see all of my others. But for now, as always, thanks for watching.